Hi there, I'm Oliver from Lentus.com. This is a practical tutorial about how to create spider webs. First of all, I would like to say that a realistic spider web is a very organic and natural model. So for achieving a realistic effect, you will need to spend a lot of time and make a lot of things by hand. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a pretty quick way of doing it so you can get started and then complicate it as much as you want. Also, um, I'll keep it simple on the tutorial so it will be faster because the important thing here is that you learn how to make it so later you can take it to the next level by yourself. This image is the result of one of the tests that, that, that I just made for taking a look on how to do these kind of things but the spider web on the image was almost completely handcrafted and created by hand. This is a more natural approach, but it takes a lot of time. So I'll show you a more procedural way to make something similar. We are going to divide this tutorial in three different parts. One, which is this video, uh, we will be taking a look at modeling the spider web. And the second part will be about creating the water drops and cloth simulation. And finally, in the third part, uh, how to add materials and compositing for the final render. So, let's get started. We have here the base scene, but first we are going to take a look at these references that I recollected on Google about spider webs. Um, our spider web will be horizontal, actually, but well, for, for, for taking a look on how the shapes work, I think uh, that these are pretty cool. So here you, you can see that the spider web is formed, but uh, these line guides right here, and then we have some spiral line going through all the guides. All right. Uh, in the tutorial, we are not making these shapes out of here because uh, they depend on the objects that you want to attach the, the spider web. And also, I don't want this tutorial to be very long and eternal. So I, uh, we will just go in to make this, uh, this part of the web. All right. So the, the approach of doing it for doing it will be uh, to model these guides first then we'll create the spiral thing and then we will uh, change some steps of the spiral so it looks more natural and not so procedural right that is where you can go to the next level and spend a lot of time arranging the the spiral to make it look more natural with more variations over the the entire uh you know the entire path of the spiral and well let's get started uh, we are going to make something similar to this one so let's delete the the cube and move the camera to the layer 19 so we only have the light and nothing stands in our view for now. So let's create a Bezier curve like this. Select all the vertices. I'm going to work in, in, in full screen. And with the N key, we can go here, activate actually this for displaying the, the, the keystrokes. And also deactivate the normals. Right, so we don't see that fancy lines right here. All right, select the, the two vertices, press B and click vector. Now shift this selection to cursor and move this one up here. For example. Let's deactivate handles too, so we just see the vertices. And now let's separate this a bit from the center. All right, now select again the entire line. 
this way we can see it better it's quite okay and now we press point to um, to visit the pivot point on the 3d cursor press shift D rotate and something like this make it again and again we could do it uh, with increments to make it even but uh, well I prefer to do it manually because this way is a bit more natural right because we don't get the same the exact same separation between all the edges all the lines sorry so we already have the guides we can also scale them a bit and there we go we can now select all these points right here scale them out and let's duplicate them scale them out to something like this and now let's start creating this shape okay note that we are working with vector uh, handles so we get straight lines I'm joining it with uh, the key the F key okay and let's wait here because I'm going to shoot it to something like here for example okay but not yet actually I'm going to select this uh, this last one click Control L and press P to separate that object so now we have uh, two different Bezier curves alright so the, the guides won't, uh, won't be in our path to work with this uh, spiral uh, that we are going to make now the spiral thing so let's select the last uh, point last vertex select here connected scale it down to the center and increase the power of this and we start having a spiral thing here now we can just duplicate this one scale it down something like here and join it okay now we select the entire curve all the all the vertices shift D press O to deactivate proportional editing and scale it to here right let's actually delete this one join this select everything again shift D scale it again join them shift D scale them again and I think you get the point of this all right and again join this select all these points of the guides put them right here and now we are going to manually work this part right some um, variations right here
we are now playing a bit with the shapes right here because as you can see on the on the references the center part of the spider webs are pretty chaotic all right so let's play a bit with this Let's leave it here for now and now let's actually I'm going to shoot this here here same with this one As you can see this is a pretty manual work well nature is created manually <laughs> Actually, we can start creating some crazy things with these lines right here. Well, I think I'm going to make this part a time lapse because it will take some time. So I will accelerate a bit this part of the video. So see you when I end retouching these things. All right, I'm pretty concentrated as you can see. So let's accelerate a bit the video. Alright, so we more or less created the center of the of the web, okay, pretty manually, and we already have the spiral. Alright, so let's take a look at it. Here we have it. Alright. Now let's go to the top view and let's make maybe some adjustments here. Uh, let me let me go to the spiral and now start you know we can just activate here the connected proportional editing and scale from the center right so make influence more little okay this way we can make it less natural all right like this click now just enable not connected 
and this way we can make it more interesting have here a little mess because well we needed to before doing this we need to make some more theme because uh, we have the guides all right and we have the spiral so if we start uh, scaling or making some things to this part of the spiral as we have also uh, draw some things about uh, here with the, 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 the guides it can be pretty mm, chaotic because mm, the, the, the things are interconnecting between them and they will not correspond each other later so first of all we are going to go to the top view and now start retouching the handles so we got that uh, cartoony spider web uh, shapes I'll I'll tell you what I what I mean we select these handles okay all of them all of them of them here all right and what we what we need to do is to scale them down okay deactivate the proportional editing and make something like this so you can see we get that curved effect of these sections all right and we need to do it with all the handles of all the spider web so let's go for it I will also time lapse this part because it can be pretty boring. Right, just you you just need to select all the handles of the session, not the vertices, just the handles. Okay, you can even select them individually and then scale them to the center of the spider web. So they get that curved effect. Well, so I have all the handles selected, okay, except the ones that I already scaled, and also some of them here in the center because here you can see that some of them, the vertices, don't correspond with the sat position of the guides, so then they will look uh, pretty strange. So, uh, well, with this done. Just scale them down a little bit 
let's exit the the edit mode to see what happens All right they looks they look pretty good scale them just a bit more okay I think they are they are pretty good so once we have this what we need to do is to add some variations to the to the spiral because it's pretty perfect and as you can see here on the reference we have some jumps some uh, parts without any any line all right or where the lines get to stick together so we're going to add some variation of this type right here for example we can just select two vertices press X delete segment and we will uh, delete this part and now we can see we can make pretty interesting things with this like for example let's click let's press comma to to restore the pivot point something like this and here something like this so now there we have a jump okay so we need to make some things like this more over the entire spider web to make it look more natural so I will time lapse again this is more time lapse than a tutorial it seems but uh, well as you can see it has a lot of hand work and well it can be pretty boring because it takes uh, some time so I will be time lapsing it because it's very simple just delete segments and draw different shapes with the with the lines all right so let's go for it Okay, so I think it's enough for now, alright, you can keep uh, adding variations uh, in a lot of uh, places over the entire web, but for now we are going to leave it like it is, because, uh, well, for the explanation I think it's, it's enough. Okay, well, let's just put this one a little further, okay all right so now we are going to see how to uh, add a, a little thickness to this web so it appear to be solid and not just a line all right what we need to do is to select the two 
the two parts of the web, the guides and the spiral, press Control J and they will be joined into the same mesh. All right? Great. Now we were we will uh, select these points of the guides. Okay, just one point for each guide. And now press Control L to select the entire guides. All right. So now we can click subdivide and subdivide them a few times, like this. Right, so now we will have some vertices all over the guides and not just the streams. Okay, so if we want to uh, change a bit the, the, the shape of the entire web, uh, they will react with it. Okay, so just select it, get out of the full screen. And now, here in the Cure panel, let's deactivate front and back and add a bit of depth. Put this on solid. And here you can see that the, the web has some thickness. So it's great, but we actually need just a little thickness. All right, so let's click Shift and drag. Right, something like this. Just a very little very very little thickness and there we have the thickness now uh, for now we are going to keep it this way but uh, we are going to change a bit the, the shape to make it more natural All right let's uh, show hide the handles so we can just select the points let's save the scene Select the points, activate here the proportional editing, and just, for example, scale this down a little bit, and now just drag. Okay, drag. You can play with the entire web. Right, like this. For example, just add something like a bit of gravity but just a little because in the next tutorial we are going to see how to simulate some cloth effect with the web all right so it's not necessary to make this now but well it's it can be useful if you want all right so i think it looks pretty good for the explanation I think you get the point on how to model it and for now we are going to leave it this way but in the next tutorial we will need to uh, convert it to mesh okay but we will do it on the next tutorial all right for now we'll keep it this way right so well I hope you learned a bit uh, some modeling technique with curves with this tutorial and well I think it's all, everything for now, so see you on the next tutorial for the web creation. The second part will be about uh, adding the water drops and simulating the, the, the cloth effect in the entire spider web. So see you soon and happy blending!